So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a glorious day today, just beautiful. So this uh, tractor was prepped by uh, m and Power Equipment in Butler, PA. And a really nice bunch of people. And I tell you what, they did not skimp on the grease, which is a good thing. There's grease everywhere. This is the uh, Land Pride RCR 1248. It's a uh, 48 inch wide brush hog, perfect match for the uh, Kubota BX23S. As you can see, just a little bit wider than the tractor, which is good. I think this is going to be a really nice setup for uh, keeping the trails maintained. Now, we don't have a lot of vegetation on some of the trails, some of them get really thick. And what I found, the more you can cut them, the thicker that it gets, and then the less erosion you have. Plus, it helps like with the ticks, you know, all that stuff. So we like to keep trails mowed uh, for Melissa and the dogs when they're out hiking, and for really anybody. It's uh, I just like keeping them keeping them tame. But anyway, before Melissa takes us out on the trails. I'm going to take it down there by the sawmill. I have a little area down there to brush hog just to kind of make sure everything's all set up right. And it's good to go. Archie's growing like a weed. Huh. Yeah. You look a little sleepy. Hey, Rue. Need to uh, put a little fuel in here before Melissa heads out in the woods. She's been known to uh, run things kind of low. I'll leave it at that. So far, I'm very impressed with the uh, little four foot brush hog on this. It's smooth, it runs real smooth. Nice cut. This thing's going to do great on the trails.
Melissa told me to uh, get off her tractor. She wants to go brush hogging. What I'll do, I'll go out there, uh, I'll take the side-by-side -side out, and I'll meet you out there. Okay. I'm going to run them in. All right. Come on, guys. Archie, come on. All right, you ready for your first lesson? I think so. What'd you find there? This little tree toad. Little toad? Yeah, I gotta point him in another direction. I was actually looking for fawns and I guess yeah. that's about it. Maybe another little puppy or something, you know. Yeah, we don't, we don't have anything, uh, like this area where we're at right now, what we're gonna do is just kind of get Melissa familiarized with the brush hog and uh, yeah. kind of do a little bit of mowing out here before she takes off out the other trails. So what she's doing now is just, you know, picking up any sticks and stuff. Most of those little ones it would mulch right up, but she's just gonna clear them off the path. And then, uh, like I said, we'll just get her familiar with the controls and everything up here on the flat. And then we'll go from there. Something else that we always do, especially when the grass is tall this time of year, is keep your eye open for fawns because uh, they will hang really tight. All right, I think uh, Melissa's pretty familiar with all the controls, but we're gonna go over it uh, one more time. So with the uh, RPMs down, you know, you don't have it revved up or anything, you engage your PTO, you know where that is? Right here. Yep, all the way down to there. To this lever. And this lever here, right here, see, we have it set for the rear PTO. If yeah. you're running the mid-mount mower, it would be up here. Okay. So all you'll do, engage the PTO. And like I mentioned before, uh, these brush hogs are kind of violent. You know what I mean? When they first yeah. engage, it doesn't matter what the tractor is, they'll bang around for a okay. second. Okay. Totally normal. Okay. So once the uh, brush hog's spinning, you'll bump your RPMs up. And on right. the dash right here, yeah. it actually shows you, it's uh, just about a little over 3,000 RPMs. Okay. Gets you a PTO speed of 540. All right. And what else? Oh, raise and lower the brush hog. How do you do that? Um, this short black handle. Yep. Goes down. That's that. And then you'll need your seat belt. And I also told her something to keep in mind. Even though this is a little tractor, uh, with the loader on it, which I like to have the loader on it when you're brush hogging on any tractor. Some people do, some people don't. Yeah. But when you're turning around looking behind you, and you're turning that wheel, that loader sticks out pretty far. So it'll swing around. And what you have to be careful, like little trees. Say there's a little tree right here, yeah. and you're backing up, and you turn that wheel. This is going to catch it, and it'll pull it down oh, towards you. It. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you have to watch everything. And it's like everything. You just slow and steady. Right. You know what I mean? You don't get in a hurry, and you'll get the hang of it. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things, especially out here in the woods. You know, you hit a... You just bump a tree, you could have a dead limb from up above and knock right. it down. Yeah, you're right. Okay. But uh, that's a sweet little setup. I think this is going to be great for out here on the uh, trails. I used it for just a little bit back at the house there, and uh, it works good. And you'll get the feel for how you know low to lower that brush hog. You want the back wheel to be touching. Okay. And uh, yeah, you'll but see. I, I bumped the RPMs up before. Yeah. Yeah, before you lower it. Lower it yeah. yeah, it doesn't really matter okay. either way. Okay. All right, so seat belt will be first, and then uh, earplugs, and you're good to go.
What do you think? Well, you were right about the sounds. Oh yeah, they bang around a little bit. I've heard, I've heard them. I've heard you using them, but to be in the seat and it yeah. gauges, and you have so much on your in my mind. I couldn't imagine being like an airline pilot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these you are have dangerous. Everybody's but... lives in your hand. I have my own, and I'm like, ah. Yeah. Well, you think you're ready to go mow some trails? Yep. All right. Okay. What do you think? Very nice. It's um, it's a beautiful day to be doing this. I know. It's not too hot. There's not high humidity. It's, it's just beautiful. What I saw out there, there wasn't places it was super high yet, but it's good to kind of keep it down. Plus, I was telling them earlier with the ticks and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those ticks stick to that stuff, and uh, you can walk through them. You know, it's just nice to keep it mowed down. But oh, yeah. it's only like what, 68 degrees or something right now. Yeah, it feels great. It's, Beautiful, it no humidity. Even, it doesn't even feel like that, yeah. Perfect out. Yeah, that's a nice little setup for the uh, trail mowing. You did good. It's comfortable and um, you know, you can. it's just nice being out there. You can collect your thoughts and um, yeah. As long as I continue to go through the checklist of check the front, check the back. <laughs> did you see what I mean about that front loader when you're backing yeah. up? You gotta watch that because it'll swing on you, you know? Yeah. I'll get, I'll get more comfortable with it the more I use this. Than... Yeah, but like I said earlier, as long as you just take it slow, steady. Yeah. I don't see any dents or dings on it, so that's, <laughs> a, good, that's a good thing. Yeah, exactly. Well, do you want to wrap this video up? Yeah. If you like these videos, click the like button. Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. Click subscribe and the bell icon will give you notifications. Don't forget a plug for your channel. <laughs> and go check out Morgan's Off the Leash. Yeah, that's my channel. You'll see me, the kids, the dogs. All right, thanks so much for watching.